He is known for being a descendant of a rich family of noble lineage. He is recognized for his adventurous and quarrelsome character, which led to him being involved in altercations and seeking revenge. His name is Pedro de Heredia. Pedro de Heredia, a descendant of a wealthy and noble family, was born in Madrid, Spain, to parents Pedro de Heredia and Inés Fernández. Even from a young age, Heredia displayed a spirit of adventure and a penchant for getting into quarrels. A notable incident from his youth involved a confrontation with six men who sought to end his life in a dimly lit alley in Madrid. This brutal encounter resulted in Heredia sustaining severe injuries, particularly to his nose, which required the attention of a doctor appointed by the Spanish crown. In a bold act of retribution, Heredia sought out three of his assailants and successfully brought them to justice, eliminating the threats against his life. However, aware of the consequences he would face for his actions, Heredia made the difficult decision to flee to the New World, leaving behind his wife and children. Heredia's journey to the New World was driven by a desire to evade the consequences of his actions and start a new life. Little did he know that this decision would pave the way for a remarkable exploration and leave an enduring impact on the world. Arriving in the New World, Heredia found himself in the midst of a land teeming with mysteries and opportunities. He embarked on a series of expeditions, venturing into uncharted territories and encountering indigenous communities along the way. Through his encounters with the native peoples, Heredia gained valuable insights into their cultures and traditions, contributing to the growing body of knowledge about the New World. Pedro de Heredia's expeditions, fueled by his unyielding spirit and thirst for discovery, played a significant role in expanding the understanding of the New World and its peoples. His experiences shed light on the complexities and richness of this vast land, forever changing the course of exploration and broadening the global perspective. As we reflect upon the contributions of Pedro de Heredia, we bear witness to the profound impact his expeditions have had on the world. His courageous spirit and unwavering determination serve as an inspiration to future generations of explorers, reminding us of the boundless possibilities that await those who dare to venture into the unknown. Pedro de Heredia, along with his brother Alonso de Heredia, embarked on a journey to the West Indies. They settled in Santo Domingo, the capital of Hispaniola, where they inherited a sugar mill and an estate in Azua province. However, their lives took an unexpected turn when news of the death of the governor of Santa Marta reached them. The Royal Audiencia of Santo Domingo appointed Pedro de Vadillo as interim governor of Santa Marta and Pedro de Heredia as his lieutenant. In 1528, Vadillo and Heredia arrived in Santa Marta with 200 men. It didn't take long for them to encounter disputes with Rodrigo Alvarez Palomino, a former lieutenant of Bastidas. These disputes were settled when Palomino tragically drowned in the river named after him. While Vadillo returned to Santo Domingo to face a residencia, Heredia remained in Santa Marta as the acting governor until 1529. During his time in office, he gained valuable experience in his interactions with the indigenous people. He engaged in trade with the natives, exchanging mirrors, bells, and other trinkets for valuable goods. After accumulating a considerable amount of booty, Heredia returned to Santo Domingo and eventually sailed back to Spain. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.